Yo, 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 another guitar lesson here for you guys. So, um, we'll just keep building on the knowledge that um, I've been sharing with you so far. Triads. Um, and trying to use some of this more in a musical context. So, now we're going to start thinking into these triads as their relationship in the key. So, for example... Um, if we're working with major triads, we've got, in every key, we've got three major triads, the one, the four, and the five. So a lot of music you're going to hear um, utilizes the one, four, five. Um, and so let's just take a look at that and how that lays on the fretboard. There's just some little bit of bits and pieces here I want to share with you that's going to help you kind of get it, you know. Um, so what we want to be able to do is instead of playing like a one, four, five, like, uh, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But what if I'm doing stuff like, uh, So that's a little, um, a little more musical, and you can get a lot more creative with this stuff, um, especially if you're playing rhythm. Um, and then, of course, if you're playing lead, you can utilize these triads to play lead lines like we've been talking about. So let's just take a look at how they relate to each other. And we're just going to start with the one chord, and we'll just do G root position one three five and we're just going to see what happens when we go to the four chord so the one chord and the four chord share a note and since we're in the key of g that note is the g so the one of the one chord ends up being the five of the four chord the four chord is a c major in this key so we're just going to keep that that root note and that means we're going to it's the five of the four chord so that means we're going to be doing a second inversion so what's going on here you've got one voice the middle voice is going up a half step and the high voice is going up a whole step the other voice is staying put okay now this happens every time you go from one to four. Now it's gonna, the voices change location. So let's take a look at it if we're doing first inversion. So that was root position for the one chord. You just go up to that A shape for the four chord. Now if we're doing the first inversion, Still, the same thing's going on. One of the notes is staying the same. Same note. This time it's in a different spot. It's up top, the G. And then we have the other two notes are moving up a whole step and a half step. And if you analyze this, it's the same notes, of course. So if we take a look at it, it's the um, five of the one chord is going up a whole step that D to E, and then the three is going up a half step, which makes sense because we're playing the four chord, right? So there you go. Now let's take a look at the A shape. Now this one's nice. This one's we pretty much all, well, we don't all know this, but Pretty handy, a lot of guitar players know this. Same thing, now, now the middle voice stays the same. And then the top voice goes over one, and the bottom voice goes over two. So a good exercise. got G, 
to see. So what we're doing. And you can do a different string sets. So don't be afraid to use the whole instrument. A lot of times I'm, I've been showing you guys just kind of in the meat of it here because this is this gets a lot of mileage when you're playing um, because the guitar typically sits more in that register um, if you're playing with a traditional band bass um, and so and keyboard you know keyboard and guitar live in the same area but that's just a good spot for the guitar to kind of cut through the mix typically um, so that's one to four um, and Let's go ahead and do one to five real quick too. So the cool thing about the one to five is same thing. There's a note that stays the same, which is the five because five is in the one. So it's the five of the one. Now, instead of going up, they go down. So one note goes down a, a half step and one note goes down a whole step. Now with the four, we went up. The five would go down. Okay, and you see that? Going from root to first inversion for the five chord. Now if we do it up here, first inversion for the one, go down to that A shape. Which is the same relationship from one to four. One to five, it's a different, well, it's not that's a that's a different uh <laughs> that's a different lesson so so there you go we got the one down to the five and then up here we got and the same kind of thing that practices you're also training your ear when you do this And you're, and you're able to stay in the same spot in the guitar too. You're not jumping around, which is a lot of, it was what we all do when we first start, just kind of poking around and finding shapes that we know. Um, this, and when you do this, you are just literally, you know, moving up and down the neck. That kind of stuff so anyway um yeah that's just how they move so check that out that's really valuable information i just wanted to share that with you guys and i hope you guys have a wonderful day today peace out